friends! Welcome to Mr. Kane's Storytime. It is Tuesday, June the 9th, 2020, and I'm so glad that you're here with me today. I want you to know that Miss Maureen and I would love nothing more than for us to be together in the classroom learning, but this is the next best thing, and it allows us an opportunity to continue developing our love of stories. So I am so happy you're here. What was I going to say next? Oh, we're all together again, we're here, we're here. We're all together again, we're here, we're here. And who knows when we'll be all together again. Well, we'll be together again tomorrow at 11 a.m. for Circle Not Circle, just like we were today. And I just want to remind you all of something. I know that um, we would all rather be together doing Circle. Um, it's a fun way for us to gather and to just sort of share ideas and our thinking for the day. But I want you to know that some days it can be hard. Some days when you join Circle, it reminds you of how much you miss your friends. And so if you have those days where you just feel like you can't be present and do that, I want you to honor that feeling that you have. Check in with yourself before 11 in the morning and see how you're doing. And if you're ready to be there and excited to be engaged, then join us. If you would rather just hold off and take a break from it, that is also you honoring your feelings. So please try not to stress about it. We are here every day at 11 a.m. and it's your choice to join in, all right? We're all together again. We're here, we're here. So yesterday was Monday, the beginning of the week. Tomorrow is Wednesday, therefore today is Tuesday, see? Today is Tuesday, Tuesday is here, everybody cheer. Today is Tuesday, all day long. All right, today is a book I want, uh, today I want to share this book with you. Ooh, I've got scrambled, scrambled eggs for brains today, I feel. What is a Re Refugee by Elise Gravel. And she is an author and an artist that lives in Montreal in Canada, and I'm a real fan of her work, and I hope that you enjoy this story. What is a refugee? Have you ever heard of that word before? Do you have an idea of what it means? Let's find out together. A refugee is a person just like you and me. Refugees had to flee their country because they were in danger. Sometimes they're fleeing wars that happen. Some of them had to flee because their country was at war. And when that happens, it's not safe for people at all. Some had to leave because powerful people didn't like what they thought or said and wanted to hurt them. Everybody is created equal. And as you can tell by the expression on those people's faces there, they're not too supportive of this point of view. But everybody is created equal, and we should demand that all the time, even if we are faced with this, right? It's our job to say something and to stand up. Others had to leave because people didn't accept their religion or hated them because they were different. And there are many people who are displaced because of those reasons, because of persecution, because of people's faith, or because of their gender or their sexuality and their lives are in danger and so they need to leave those places even though they don't want to leave their homes they are forced to leave in order to protect their lives it would be wonderful if at some point in our lifetime that people all people could be safe where they live we have to keep fighting for that most refugees would have preferred to stay in their own country with their friends and their family. Can you imagine what it would be like if you were forced to have to leave your house or your family and have to go somewhere else in the world to live where it was safer? It would be devastating and heartbreaking and terribly sad. But it was too dangerous. Also often their homes were destroyed and they had nothing left. Refugees had to find another country to live in and that is not easy. For many people who flee these uh, situations, wars, conflicts within the country, persecution and hate, 
They leave in the hopes and the dreams that they'll get to another place that'll be safe and welcoming. And unfortunately, that's not always the case either. They receive a different form. Often it's racism that they experience. And racism is hate. Hate of people being different, particularly based on the way that they look, their skin color. And that happens in Canada. That happens in Toronto. And it is terrible. And when you see racism happening, don't stand by and watch it. Don't let it happen. Speak up. Be brave. Because the more that we do that, the more that we'll let people know that the message is clear, we will not tolerate it. There are countries that don't want to welcome more refugees. While they're waiting for a new country to welcome them, many refugees have had to stay in camps where life was very hard. Refugees were lucky if they could find a country where they could live a normal life and do normal things like going to school and making friends, having a job, living in peace and safety, living just the way that we live. People all over the world have families, they have lives, they have friends, they have careers, they go to school. Can you imagine being lifted from all of that because of all the conflict and the hatred that exists? We all need to do so much better. We need to be brave and stand up for people. Just like you and me. There it is. Children just want to play and have friends and learn. People just want to live in peace. Here, she also talks to kids who are refugees. I met some refugee kids while writing this book and asked them to tell me a bit about themselves. Here is what they had to say. My name is Isla, and I had to leave Syria because of the war. I love to draw with my sister. We make funny comic books. I'm Majid, and I came from Sudan. There was a lot of fighting. I'm very good at soccer, and I could play it all day. My name is Rosaline, and my family came from Haiti. My grandmother and two of my cousins couldn't come with us, and I miss them so much. My name is Musa, and I come from Afghanistan. I love video games, especially Fortnite. My parents think I play too much. My name is Nala, and I left Somalia because there was a war and a drought. A drought is when um, the weather doesn't have a lot of rain. And so it ends up killing crops and animals, and so there is no food for people to eat. What I love about my new country is Halloween. We didn't have that where I came from. I know a lot of you like Halloween because you love to dress up. Me too. My name is Sebastian, and I used to live in Cuba. We can't live there anymore because my parents don't agree with the government. I want to be a veterinarian when I grow up because I love animals. See, even though that we're each unique and special and different, there are many things that we share. We all have hopes, we have dreams, we have love in our heart, we have a desire to live safely and peacefully, and we have a desire to be celebrated for who we are. All of us, regardless of our gender, regardless of the color of our skin, our faith, our sexual orientation. We all deserve to live lives that are free and safe. And... Um, it's our responsibility as human beings to look out for one another, all of us. So be brave. Speak up when you see injustice. Thank you for being here today. I hope you love this story as much as I do. What is a Refugee? by Elise Gravel. We'll see you tomorrow, everyone. I hope you have a great night. We'll see you at 11 a.m. tomorrow for Circle Not Circle. Bye, everybody.